What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another Screw Toy action figure review and today we'll be looking at the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse The Flash from the Zack Snyder Justice League uh, and this figure looks decent. Uh, he does look a little bit out of scale compared to all the other figures of this wave. Uh, like I said on the other previous figures from this wave, this is my step dad's figure and he let me borrow it for this review. Uh, he looks again just okay. Uh, maybe in hand he'll be a little bit better but before we look at him let's get a closer look at the packaging and then at the figure itself getting a close up look at the packaging it is your standard McFarlane toy packaging you've got DC Multiverse the flash down here open window to see the product uh, I actually like that they put him in a pose uh, which is pretty cool unlike you know other figures that are just have that static vanilla pose and, and the packaging kind of looks kind of boring but I like how they did that, pretty unique. Uh, you got Justice League 2021, the Zack Snyder cut. If you're 12 and under, you cannot play with it. 22 points of articulation, we'll see about that. The McFarlane Toys logo up there. You got DC Multiverse on the side, the Flash, McFarlane Toys. On the back, you get a shot of the poster from the movie and all the figures from the wave. So far, I reviewed the Red Suit Superman, Batman, and Dark Side of, uh, what's his name? Steppenwolf. On the side, The Flash, Justice League, Justice League 2021. Uh, McFarlane Toys down there. And yeah, man. Not much more at the bottom. If you need the, the uh, barcode, there it is. So yeah, let's get him out the package. Getting a close-up look at all the accessories he does come with. I'm actually pretty impressed press man uh obviously we can always have more but i think what he does come with is actually pretty decent he comes with you know the traditional trading card and base as you can see these are your standard mcfarland toys uh trading cards again i don't see the appeal of these but that's just my personal opinion if you like these you know um more for you i guess um in the back get the read up a little bit of a bio if you want to read it you can pause it but yeah man uh traditional mcfarland trading card and you get a traditional mcfarland dc base standing base that has a peg that sticks out to help the figure stand it is just a flat matte or it's semi glossy um plastic and then you get that dc emblem right there kind of just um what, what would you call that kind of just print it on there no i wouldn't say print it but you, you know what i mean but uh <laughs> he also does come with these lighting effects where which actually are pretty dope man if you get a close-up look here they are the lighting effects that he gives off when he's running at the speed of light or the speed force or whatever again <laughs> showing my uh ignorance on dc knowledge but yeah, man, these look really, really nice. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie, these look really, really, really nice. Really like how these came out. Turn things down a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. But yeah, man, if you get a close up here, you can see that it is a white and blue plastic. Yeah, you can see all those little details, lighting bulbs. And I really like how it goes from clear plastic to blue and then back to clear. I think that's really dope and at first i couldn't figure out how to get him on but they literally just wrap around his limbs so you can have them i'm not too sure if it goes on a specific limb like each piece goes on a specific limb but it kind of works out on any limb as you can see it just kind of get it just kind of wraps around his limbs and have it on that leg uh, you can have this one on this leg as well, or even flip it around this way. That kind of works out as well, too. If you want to have it on his arm, you can do that as well. So you can, you know, have fun with those. And I believe they're all are different scopes. Here is the figure on the rotating base, and <laughs> I'm just going to straight up say it, man. Um, 
this figure is pretty badass. I, I just straight up, he is pretty dope. Um, by far the best figure of this wave that I reviewed. Um, just the little bit of time I've had playing with him, which is maybe what five, ten minutes that I've messed around with him. I'm, I'm really impressed. Yes, there is a little complaints I have about him, but very, very, very minor complaints and maybe just even nitpicking. But I mean, just look at him. He's literally standing on one foot. It took me maybe two seconds to, to post him up like that. And he is standing on, on the little DC stand that he came with. But I mean, that's exactly what it's for, for, for this type of setup, man. And it's, oh man, um, I'm going to try not to gush too much over this figure throughout the review, but I, th I think I might have to go and get myself a, a personal copy, man, because this 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 figure is pretty great. Again, there is a little bit of things that I will mention that I don't like, but enough of me gushing over this figure, man. Let's let's get a close up look at him. Here we have Mr. Barry Allen up close and personal, and man, this figure, <laughs> like I said earlier, man, this figure is is great, man. There's there's a lot of good things about this figure. And very, very minor bad things about him. But just overall, man, he's a very solid figure. Um, the likeness, is it's there. It's not perfect, but it's there. Unlike uh, Mr. Superman over here. Oof. Yeah, that's that's still rough. <laughs> but this this right here, I think, looks pretty good. Again, I think McFarlane usually does really, really good with masked figures or mask uh real life persons uh when it comes to unmasked heads that's where he kind of has a little bit of trouble but i really do like this head sculpt uh the only thing i don't really like about it if i can uh, not get that glare in the eyes but his left eye seems to be looking off a little bit this way while this one seems to be looking straight forward which is a little bit annoying but not too noticeable, especially if you're going to have him, you know, running and stuff in a running pose. You, you're not really going to notice. But, yeah, man, I think overall this is a really good figure. Um, solid paint apps, solid articulation, sculpt, really, really good. As you can see, he is fairly uh, movie or screen accurate. I think the only things that I believe, if I'm not mistaken... Is these lines right here should be silver and I mean let me actually get a close-up look at the trading card he comes with yep they, they should they these lines should be silver um, I don't know why they didn't paint them but yeah they should have definitely been painted silver but overall man uh, that's a very minor nitpick um, it's not like Hasbro doesn't do it all the time but yeah, as you can see, the head sculpt looks really nice. You can see all these little textures and patterns and rivets and crevices. It's just <laughs> a lot going on, man. The red paint and the gold contrast very well. Um, yeah, just the skin tone looks good. Uh, I love when McFarlane Toys uh, paints actually paints the lips. Unlike Hasbro, I don't know why they never paint the lips. It actually makes them look realistic and alive and real you can see the chest the logo you can see the white circle with the golden um lightning bulb again i wish they would have painted these lines silver that would have really even broke it up more and added more contrast to the figure as you can see the that it goes from like flat to all this little texture right here on the gray parts black gray parts yeah it's it's definitely a dark gray on camera kind of comes off more blackish but yeah that's definitely gray you can see the belt the legs yeah man that looks really dope i really like how the red is like kind of smooth and then the gray is more textured and 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 has like a pattern on it the feet has the lightning bulb on the side No real treads at the bottom, but no one's going to be looking at the bottom of the feet. Here's the back of the figure. The Barry Allen butt. The back looks really nice. I really love that back head sculpt, sculpting right there. Looks really good. His arms. 
um, on my personal figure here the fingers did come a little bit warped but a little bit of hot water uh, will fix that so not too big of a complaint you can even see the arm he has a shoulder pad all this nice texture here the gold right there for the lightning bolt yeah man just a good looking figure overall And I think that's where McFarlane Toys really does, you know, um, shine. It's usually during the sculpt and the paint process. That's where they do a really good job. Because even in those hinges, man, look at that. You even get textured and sculpted in those hinges. Not in all of them, but the big prominent ones you, you can see right there. See some sculpting. Even in the front right here. It's a little bit closer. Yeah, man. Good looking figure overall. Let's get a closer look at his articulation real quick. Getting a close up look at this guy's articulation. It is decent. Some questionable things, but it is decent. Um, he can look up a, a fair amount. So <laughs> look at that. He looks all the way up. His head is on a dumbbell joint, so um, he can look all the way up, which is really impressive for a dumbbell joint. But let me pop his head off real quick. And I think the reason you, he can look up so far is because that dumbbell joint is very, uh, if I can get it to focus, it's very tall compared to other ones. His, his dumbbell joint is really high and he kind of has like a little cutout right here where his, you know, it can lean all the way back. So that's pretty good, but it is fairly thin. So do be careful with that. So yeah, he can look all the way up. He can look a good amount down. Um, can't really bury the chin or anything, but yeah, he does look a fair amount down. He has great head pivot, man. Look at that. Yeah, man, that's great. Great head pivot. So good, good movement out that head. Uh, his arms move up all the way up, so you can easily hit hit a T pose in these. These joints are real smooth, man. Like, like real smooth, butter smooth. <laughs> but yeah, he can hit a T pose really easily. He does have a butterfly joint in there, so he can get some shifting back and forth. Not much, but it is. It does help. Uh, he has upper thigh. I mean, upper thigh, upper bicep swivel, which again, real smooth. Double jointed elbows that bend in all the way, man. Look at that. Oh man, that's great. That's great. Uh, he does have that ball jointed uh, wrist, so he can hinge up and down. And I believe if you move it around, he can hinge up and. Well, I don't know, man. I'm I'm still kind of a little confused on these hinges. <laughs> so I, uh, yeah, but it, like straight out the package, you can hinge him, you know, up and down vertically. So that does work out pretty well. Now my biggest gripe from this figure is the articulation here on the chest. As you can see, he does have an upper diaphragm cut right there, but you get like no movement. It just kind of runs into itself right here. I don't know if you can see that right there, but get my light closer. Right there, it kind of just boop, boop, like it, it gets no movement. So no clue why they sculpted it like that. He's just kind of, yeah. I'm not a big fan of that. It should have been an app crunch right there with the ball joint down here. Um, this is pretty much useless and pointless. And it kind of breaks up the sculpt a little bit. And it kind of gives it a little ugly look. But that's literally the biggest gripe from this figure. It should have been an app crunch, not an upper diaphragm cut. Which, again, it's pretty much useless because he does not crunch forward at all with it. As you can see, it runs into itself. It does not really shift to the side or tilt to the side at all so again that's pointless and it just kind of breaks up the scope for no reason but with that lower ball joint he does shift all the way to the side it does get a little gappy right there so do be careful and he does shift this much to this side he can bend that much forward and that much back 
and he does have uh, the same thing as Batman, a rubber overlay over his crotch and his um, lower abs. So uh, it is a little bit big, kind of gives a little of a diaper feel, but not not too bad. So um, I do like that they did go with the rubber and not the hard plastic like Superman. But th with this being right there, it doesn't really hinder anything. So you can kick that much outward or th that much forward. Shit, all the way back as he should because he is the Flash and he's a runner. Uh, he can kick this much out to the side. But then again, it starts getting kind of gappy right there. Not a big fan of that. Uh, he does have double jointed knees to bend in all the way and easily, easily kick his own ass. Uh, and he does have those ball jointed ankles. But what I really love about these is that the shoes kind of ride high. So you can't really see them. And I really, really like that. Because, you know, like, let me see. Superman. They're just big and prominent right there. You see that? Look, look, look at the difference. Yeah, man. This, this, this is ten times better. Um, his foot can hinge that much forward, and that much back, and he does have. Uh, yeah. So again, depending how you have that, there we go. Configured. I just had it where it was running into that little flat piece right there. Can't, can't. Uh, if you can see it there it was running into that little flat piece so he does have ankle pivot and uh, toe articulation and now for some size comparisons here we have the flash next to his best friend batman i'm going to stand and yeah this is one of my biggest complaint is that he is a little bit tall and some you know movie stills and pictures that i found online he should be to maybe his neck or maybe even his shoulder but as you can see they're pretty much almost the same size yeah, so he should be a little bit shorter as he is a younger uh, kid teenager type type um, type of age so I wish he was a little bit shorter he is a little bit on the taller side but this works still and here we have him next to Superman and Batman Again, he is a little bit on the taller side. I wish that he was just a little bit shorter, maybe to his shoulder, maybe his neck. But yeah, he's almost the same height as him, just a little bit shorter, but not as tall. So I, again, just wish he was just a little bit shorter. Here we have the rest of the figures from the wave that I did review. We have Dark Side and Steppenwolf. And yeah, man, uh, all these together look pretty, pretty awesome. They look pretty dope, man. Um, again, uh, as time as time keeps going on, I, I I do like the Superman less and less. That face sculpt just really really sucks. I wish it was better, man. Because if you know his head sculpt was just a little bit better, he would have fit a lot more better into this wave. Because Batman, the Flash, Darkseid, and Steppenwolf have great head sculpts, and you know the likeness is pretty much a hundred percent. But that that that. Ugh. But anyways. This figure, man, by far, and I mean by far, my favorite figure from the rest of these. Like, by far, he's just a really good figure, man. The articulation, the sculpt, the paint, the accessories. He comes with a whole bunch of them, more more than anybody. You know, he just came with his spear. He came with his axe. He came with, what did he come with? A flight stand, I think. And he came with a batarang. Like, come on, man! This this dude by far blows the rest out of the uh, out of the water. But yeah, man, great figure, uh, decent wave. Uh, ranking these from best to my least favorite, I would say it's the Flash, Batman, Steppenwolf, uh, 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 Dark Side Superman, and here we have the Flash to another speedster. We have uh, Quicksilver from the Marvel Legends line. And yes, it is the comic version. I do not have the new MCU Infinity Saga Quicksilver. But if I do find him in stores when he is released, I will buy him just to compare him to this one. But yeah, man, uh, as you can see, he kind of just towers over him because he is 7 inch and he is 6 inch scale.
Here is a figure back on the rotating base, and overall, man, this 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 figure is, uh, yeah, man, this uh, go get this figure. That's that's all I gotta say. Just go get this figure. It's it's just just look at him, man. Just look at him on the rotating base. He looks he looks pretty damn awesome. And that's coming from a Marvel fan, a Marvel Legends fan, a Hasbro fan, and uh, not a big fan of Todd McFarlane toys, but. They knocked it out of the park with this one, man. Like, by far, by far exceeded my expectations. Like, I'm not even exaggerating. By far, great figure, man. Just great scope, great paint, great accessories. I mean, just look at him, man. Like, but enough of me gushing over this figure. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Comment down below if you will be getting this figure or if it's a pass for you. And let me know why it's a pass for you because, again, this is a great figure, man. Uh, make sure y'all follow me on my Instagram at screw toys with a Z on toys. And yeah, man, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.